For this video today with you, at least, I would love to focus on calories. This is a very popular topic that always gets thrown in my way. Does calorie counting work to achieve weight loss? And does the calories in calories out model really govern whether or not someone loses weight or gains weight? Awesome. So the first bit of that question, does counting calories help? Not if you don't moderate the number of calories you intake. If you just count them, then obviously it is what it is. Right. You can say at the end of the week, I've taken in 5,700 calories. Great. Did I lose any weight? Well, no, because I didn't reduce the number of calories because 5,700 for most people is going to be far too many, for example. Okay. That being said, we then need to go to does calories in calories out as a theory work? My answer is a qualified yes and a qualified no. Okay. The yes part is if you vastly, grossly reduce your income, uh, income, your calorie intake, and I'm talking by probably a thousand calories a day, then you can be fairly sure that you will indeed lose some fat off your body if you keep doing that for a period of time. Mm -hmm. However, that will lead you to a very high probability of developing other problems because you will be quite nutrient deficient on a diet of such a limited amount of energy. And I want to transition away from the word calories and go toward the words effective energy in food because basically the calorie is not a scientifically valid or accurate way to measure how much energy is contained in a food. And that's why you have to go so grossly underneath where you are right now to be sure that you'll actually get the result that you're planning mm. because it's so inaccurate. It's so poor as a measure of energy. Let me just use myself as an example. I was vegan for six years before I went carnivore. And when I was vegan, I was still practicing this obsession over uh, limiting my calorie intake. So I would use an app and I would calculate how many calories I should be eating, right? And I'll limit it underneath so that I can continue to lose weight. So how come I struggled so much? And I know for a fact, a lot of women also did uh, just you know, limiting my calorie intake every single day for so long. And then when I went on carnivore, I can eat as much as I want and still maintain a great physique. So how does that happen? Well, the, the, the short and simple answer to that is that's the part where you say calories in, calories out does not work for most people. Yeah. Because I would suspect when you were limiting your calories, mm. that you were probably limiting them by maybe four, five, six hundred. Because what I, what I was sort of suggesting in the first question was, you know, you really need to go a thousand under to be absolutely sure that you really are going to lose. Again, let's not say weight because it's not about weight. It's fat that we're talking about is that what most people are trying to lose off their body. So four, five, six hundred probably won't do it. And the reason for that is this. Your basal metabolic rate is variable. OK, when you get to these calculators online that tell you how many calories you should need every day, It'll say, what's your age? What's your gender? What's your height? Yep. What's your current weight? What's your activity level? An estimate, which people lie to themselves about for a start. And you enter those things and it says your calorie should be, your basal metabolic rate should be probably for a woman of your stature and size, would probably say 1500 and something basal. Mm -hmm. All right. That doesn't take into account the fact that your basal metabolic rate there can be above that, you can it can be sped up by your body, mm. or it can be slowed down by your body, which in effect means that you would be expending more energy or less energy on a daily basis. One of the most potent ways that you can affect your basal metabolic rate is to consume more effective energy in your food or less. So if you say, okay, I want to lose some weight, over the next few months, I'm going to control my calories underneath my usual by five, 600. Then your basal metabolic rate says, great, I'll slow down by the same amount to maintain homeostasis, mm. to protect the position as it is now. This is, this is our set point. This is where we are. Your body will jealously guard against that unless you go grossly underneath that suggestion more than a thousand. Yes. which then subjects you to the risk of other problems. So I'm not suggesting that you do 
control your diet by under a thousand. By the same token, if you vastly increase your intake, then your basal metabolic rate will speed up as well. Example of that, I've just finished a two week period of priming doing the steak and butter gang carnivore priming program. And I was consuming five and six times my normal intake of effective energy mm. in food for two weeks. And in that two weeks, my weight went down by four pounds. Okay, so calories in, calories out, busted. Right. Sorry, boys and girls, it doesn't work because it does not account. There are many reasons it doesn't work, but for one reason, it does not account for your variability in your basal metabolic rate. Simple. Mm -hmm. Also, if you eat more food, you tend to be more active. So you tend to spend more on activities of, of daily living. And if you eat less, you tend to spare your energy, you tend to sit around more, you tend to do less. 